My name is Ian Clement and here's another video for the support Cisco 101 series. Uh, this time we're going to look at adding points to a non-Cisco family. Uh, or it could be a Cisco family, but uh, the example I'm going to use is a non-Cisco family. So occasionally you may need to have, you, know, uh, you may want to lay out, uh, for example, diffuser locations. So these are just Revit's default diffusers, just Revit family. That's all these are. So basically I've got these placed in the model and what I actually want to do in my point file for layout purposes, I actually want to designate maybe the center points of all of these uh, diffusers. So from the pipe menu on the building layout tab, if you've got to add fittings first, first thing you need to do is actually get a, our user defined point. So you've got to add fittings. When that comes up, uh, we can go to our Imperial and hangers and if you scroll down here there's actually a category or a what's called a manufacturer called site survey work that's obviously not a real manufacturer this has got where we have uh, random things or assorted here things like core drills and our basic sleeves these are non -man not our manufactured sleeves these are uh, made up ones but under miscellaneous points here if you expand that one all the way down you get to this and you'll find this little green flag so I'm going to drag the green flag in, so it loads it off the website onto my C drive. Um, it's not going to be used as a hanger, it doesn't really matter, but I'm not going to use it as a hanger. Hit the OK, add a manufacturer, anything in there, just non-blank, get it in there. And I don't need this, so I'm now going to right click and delete it. The purpose of that is getting it off the website onto my C drive. Even though I've deleted off this particular system, it now exists on my C drive. So I close out of here now. I can edit a family. And say so this works with anything. So I'm going to highlight this particular family and go to Edit Family. So this takes me into Revit's Family Editor. Uh, this is my little view of that uh, diffuser. So first thing I'm going to do is go to the browser floor plans reference level I can download the thing and I want this point basically at the dead center of this thing um, so I'm now going to load the our point family into this uh, general purpose Revit family so to do that is from insert load family now the point itself is all based off this root path and the root path as a default, unless you've changed this, is going to be C, program data, building data, Cisco content, and then whatever year. So if I go to my computer, C drive, program data, building data, you can see that's basically the first part. I'm actually on Cisco 2020, so I need to go into the content 2020. And you'll find here, I've got the same structure as when I actually look on the website. Imperial, hangers, site survey work. Uh, miscellaneous layout points, carbon steel, standard. And because I put it off the website, that's that use defined point here. So basically that's the family I want to insert into whatever family I want the point in. So if I open that one up, all that's done. I've now got that down here as a generic model of the use defined point. So I'm now gonna drag this point and I'm gonna place that dead center. I, I can add multiple points. Maybe I need to pick up the corners. Um, you can add multiples to this. In my scenario, I'm just going to add the one. Right click cancel, right click cancel. So now there's actually a point in here. So if I now load into project and close. Now, if I say yes to this, it means every single time in the future, any project I work on, I would have this point in my diffuser uh, because I don't want to actually corrupt my diffuser. I'm just going to say no. So it's only going to be active in this current project. And I want to overwrite with the with the new parameters. And you'll see, you see these little points in all of my diffusers now. These are the actual layout points off here. Uh, now, just as a, a tip off here, when Cisco generates a point file, uh, it prefixes the name of the point with the item number um, parameter. Now, because these are non Cisco components, there is no item number in there. So just as an example, if we're going to take a look at a hanger, 
we see here this has an item number field therefore Cisco uh, will generate um, the point name it'll be whatever's in this item number field or in my case because it's blank it'll take the mark number put that into the point into the item number field and designate that as the, as the uh, hanger name itself so if I want to actually control the names of these things rather than just being all marks coming through here number four and whatever else on here uh, I can add the item number parameter to these so again this is just pure Revit when I go up to manage and uh, project parameters and look down here find item number and I basically want to modify that one so if you'll notice here it's basically going to be on things like cable trays uh, I want this on my air terminals which is the category that these things are so if I click that one hit the OK and OK off here now when I go back into here I've actually got the item number field down here which basically means this this would be my point name if I so I could now maybe make this into in fact let me do it on the same for all of these maybe these are all SD ones so that may that will make my point names be basically related to SD so now I could annotate these and it matches up I do the apply on there all these are now got SDs coming off there um, now say so you can actually modify any family um, maybe you've got an underground system where you maybe want to add points into some of our fittings again same process works highlight the fitting go into edit family add the point in there and place that wherever you need the, th the point to be so relatively straightforward process uh, but just let you expand uh, the capabilities uh, as you actually go through there